While the core principle of bullet journaling is add only what you need, maybe what you need is to have some decorative fun in your journal. Or maybe you just want to. And there are some great supplies that we can use to do just that. Let's have a look at some of the commonly enjoyed ones, and some of the ones that are less common but can be equally as fun. While a pen and a notebook are all that we need to bullet journal, it's natural to ask, what else is there? The pen category in particular brings up a range of options. For instance, do you just want to go with coloured options of your typical writing pens? Do you want to look into using highlighters, for instance the mild liners? Markers are a really popular category, my favourites being the Tombow dual brush markers, but people also love the Crayola Super Tips as a budget friendly option. One type of pen that I personally think is the best are dot markers. I typically use them functionally for things like marking off habit trackers, drawing attention to priority tasks, but they can also be used decoratively, for instance as a way to highlight the numbers on your monthly calendar or as parts of other decorative elements. Another type of pen are paint pens, like the Archer and Olive Acrylographs or Posca paint pens. On the topic of paints, people do also enjoy using typical painting utensils in their journal too. There are notably a lot of options when it comes to paints and brushes, whether that be for watercolour versus acrylic paint versus whatever else is out there. My personal favourite in terms of paints are the metallic paints, which add a gorgeous shine to your layouts. Brushes can be the typical bristles on a stick variety. I do think I just heard some of our painter friends cry when I said that, so I'm sorry. Or you can go with water brushes that have a cartridge that you can fill up. On the topic of water, you can also get yourself some very nifty tools for cleaning your brushes while you're doing your painting. This one for instance, you fill up with water and then it portions out a small amount that you can use to wash your brush. This is really helpful for anyone who likes to paint using multiple colours and they don't want to dirty their water stock. Another painting related tool is that of masking fluid. This is used to protect portions of your page so that you can keep those sections clear of paint while painting around them. Coming back to writing utensils though, a great addition to your pen lineup is a pencil. <laughs> Okay, hear me out. Pencils can be great either for colouring or decoration with coloured pencils, or for sketching things into your layouts, which I very much like to do. I've had one too many shapes go very cattywampus from not being pre-sketched in. My preference is for a typical 2H wooden pencil, because the graphite makes lighter marks on the page which are fairly easy to erase. But for the sake of precision, you might be more inclined to go with the mechanical pencil route. In that case, let me introduce you to literally the coolest multi pen ever. Not only does it have two pen cartridges, but it also has a mechanical pencil cartridge. This is a great all-in-one tool for doing your typical journal writing and being able to sketch things in. It's probably worth mentioning that every item I'm talking about in this video is linked in the description box below, along with some discount codes, because we love savings. If you like to sketch things out as much as me though, you're going to be doing a lot of erasing. While a typical eraser is a fine choice, dealing with the erasings after the fact is less ideal. It will effectively end up looking like the arts and crafts version of dandruff on your floor. In that case, something like a kneadable eraser can be a really good option. It doesn't leave the eraser shrapnel behind, and it's good for the majority of pencil markings. Erasers are best known for getting rid of mistakes, but when you're using a pen in your notebook, we need a different solution. Yes, you can use erasable pens, like the friction pens or something similar, but in wanting to use our favourite pens, it can be good to have some kind of a mistake fix. Something like correction tape or correction fluid can be helpful for this, but what I actually like to use is white name labels. These better match the colour and texture of my notebook paper, meaning that my mistakes end up better covered. Another mistake fixer is a white gel pen, which can be an excellent addition to your supply lineup, either for fixing mistakes or for decorative reasons. One way to avoid mistakes though, or at least to avoid the back and forth when it comes to drawing something out, deciding it doesn't quite look right, erasing it, drawing it out again, is to go with something like stencils. Stencils come in a range of different designs, but my personal favourite are circular stencils because they can be used for a range of different themes and layouts. This could be something like this Stetler Circle stencil, which has a range of different circles, or a more fancy stencil is something like this Helix Circle Maker, which you can use to make concentric circles when setting up something like a circular tracker. A great decorative option is paper. 
typically in a different color to your notebook. And this could be something like scrapbooking paper, regular colored paper, or I'm quite fond of dot grid paper because then I can still write on it in a straight line and whatever else I'd usually do in my notebook. Another type of paper-based decoration that you can use are printables. You can get ones that are strictly decorative, or you can use ones similar to what we've got here, which combine functionality with some creative flair. To stick in that paper though, we're gonna need an adhesive. While glue is a common option for this, I consider double-sided tape to be more of a winner because it won't make your page buckle by adding any kind of wetness. Even better than this though is a double-sided tape runner. Some of these also come with replaceable cartridges so that you can cut down on your plastic waste as well. The problem with double-sided tape though is that it's not so useful for items that are a little bit more delicate or have a lot of fine details. In those cases something like a glue pen is a lot more useful. Because it's a pen you have a lot more precision in terms of where you're putting the glue and you just have to draw over the back of the object and then stick it into your journal. You knew it was coming, but if we're gonna talk about sticking things into our journal, we have to talk about washi tape and stickers. There are plenty of places, both online and in person, that sell stickers, but Etsy can be a great place to hit up to find small businesses that specialize in stickers. And some of those are making stickers for bullet journaling in particular. For washi tape though, my personal favorite is the washi tape shop because their quality is excellent and the designs are gorgeous, but you can also get more budget friendly options on other websites too. While this is very much an overview of some of the different supplies that you might want to include in your bullet journaling toolkit, we do of course have other videos which take a closer look at some of those in particular. Those can be found in this playlist here, so click or tap on that one and I'll see you over there.